you're gonna follow rat okay research app and tone thanks you guys we reached 8,000 subscribers thank you so much it's been a rough day So yeah, welcome to today's business vlog, and we're gonna get started. Uh, but this is a little bit different. That's different, yeah, yeah. This is the one that is more like... My dad doesn't want to be my vlogs anymore. But you guys seem to like him, so make sure you like this video if you want to see him. Because I think he's just... Uh... That'd be so sad. No more Leon and vlogs. Jade, did you buy me some coffee, man? You want me to buy you coffee? I have some money. I know you have a lot of money. Okay guys, so I just finished up a coaching call with a student. So a little bit of background if you're new here. My name is Jade and I'm an entrepreneur. I have three main businesses, but I help coach people to grow their social media and create a business around it. I'm back home and I actually need to show you guys more of my personal life. A lot of you guys see the same thing every day. I go to the same coffee shop, do the same similar work, except today I'm gonna introduce you to my friend. Yeah, she's my close friend. And the problem is this episode is not gonna be fun. My friend, Madeline is being unresponsive and I don't know what's happening to her, but we're gonna go find out, okay? Okay, I'm at her house. I don't know if this is creepy. I just want to let you know I do have other friends in a life, but I'm quite concerned. If you guys don't know, I dropped out of high school, but I'm still entered in this business competition. How ironic is that? Madeline is my partner, so I'm about to call her because she's been missing and I know she's sick, but I need to get some shit done. I want to see where she's at because I'm at her house anyway, so. <laughs> what you gonna do on your house? <laughs> Madeline. Yeah. Hey Fish, are you okay? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to compete tomorrow. Oh my god, Fish, are you gonna be okay? I don't know. This vlog went really dramatic real quick. Madeline, I hope you have a great rest and you I feel so bad. I'm literally in front of her house. Do I like am I freaky for like saying in front of her house? Like, I should leave. Madeline, you're probably gonna watch this and I just wanna know I love you and oh my god. <laughs> Maybe I won't have to compete tomorrow. You know what? Let me let me just take a breath to pray for Madeline first. Ah! I'm at Target after hearing my friend is sick, you know, and I just wanted to see what I could do. I want to get her a card. It's like Valentine's Day or whatever. I don't even know that was happening. I just went back from Target and I realized that they don't accept Apple Pay. We're gonna go back home. On the way back home, we're gonna talk about a question I got. Okay, so Nicole. I was chatting with someone yesterday and said someone sent a DM and I felt so bad it came off rude. Tone is everything. So I agree, Nicole. I think tone is possibly more important than what you say. My biggest thing in regards to like getting your first potential client is to, one second. I think when you have your coaching business, whether you're a social media marketer or you sell a product, you have to have a really steady and very consistent tone in regards to your customers or else it is rude. What I do is something called empathy. When you go over to your first client, you need to know the client better than they know themselves you're gonna follow rat okay research app and tone when you follow rap you're gonna be the best empathetic coach or marketer there is when you go prospect your clients or you're meeting with them your research so the first step it is crucial you do your research you have to know the client better than they know themselves even if you're going into discovery you need to have so much empathy for what they're doing so research is a big component second step is you want to have a little bit of an acting skill one of my biggest tips actually if they're sounding bored and not interested you gotta sound bored if they are engaged and they're super excited have a happier tone you know if you're not a warned with actor that's okay you just have to understand when you can relate and be super empathetic to your customer they are more likely to trust you I think the number one thing is not being you know raw raw and being nice it's actually trust trust is so hard to obtain in the first meeting so then the final thing is tea I think tone is more of the combination of the two having research and having a little bit of acting I think one of my favorite things is if you're sitting down with them face to face if they're slouched forward you slouch forward because it shows that you're both engaged but if they're bored and you they're relaxed you know people think it's aggressive when you're so in their face and they don't give a shit. That's my thing. Follow rats and it should help. My key thing is empathy and actually having research behind them or your potential client. And that was the question of the day, Nicole. I hope that answers it. And this will work for any industry. So I hope you can use this and put this into use. Time to go home and get my wallet. Now I'm at Target again. And now I'm going to check if my city is cool enough to pick up Gary Vaynerchuk's crushing it. Gary? 
Where'd you go? <gasps> oh my god, it's sold out. I'm so proud. I'm kind of pissed off though. Why is my Target so cool? Look, brushing it is sold out. That is so dope. I'm at my friend Madeline's house again. So I got her a card and her favorite face mask and I'll just leave it at her door. I hope she sees this. The dogs are freaking out, so I better leave. All right, guys, I'm back home. I'm gonna sign off this vlog. I just wanna say how thankful I am for you, and shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If you wanna be today's comment winner, comment below. Okay, I feel like we talk a lot about business. Can I just know, like, what are your Valentine's Day plans? I wanna know. I'm actually gonna be in LA. Hashtag don't need a man. This is not a hashtag. Also, I hope this video inspires you to like do something nice for your friends. And I hope Madeline, you feel better and I love you a lot. Even though I have a competition tomorrow and I don't even know how to compete because I don't even have my partner and I'm not even supposed to be at school, I'm a dropout. Ah, I'll just update you guys tomorrow on this whole situation. Have a great day, everybody, or night. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye. What's up, guys? Thank you so much for watching. Hold up. If you could do me a huge favor, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button to turn on my post notifications. That would mean the world to me and I really appreciate it. Mwah.